I got a fever, and the only prescription's more bells. There is more reason than ever before to save up your bells in Animal Crossing. There you got the shops, you got that weird dude that sells the plants, you got the other weird dude that sells the art, then you got the, the tailoring shop, which is important, you gotta have your fashion. Look at my guy, for example. He's got a sweet helmet to protect him when people are beating him up for wearing a hot dog costume. I personally use my bells to move villagers around, and I've moved the shop and museum around quite a bit too. Unfortunately, I can't quite commit to one location, and it costs 50,000 freaking dollars just to move something. Then, don't get me started on the ramps and bridges. They can get really pricey. I put those all over my island because I couldn't be bothered to keep taking out the ladder and the vaulting pole, and buying all those ramps and bridges sent me back millions of dollars, but I thought it was over. Then you get to the end game, and oh shit, you can completely transform the island. But wait, if you start moving rivers and moving cliffs around, you can't just move bridges and inclines, you have to demolish them and purchase them all over again. At the beginning, I was a big fan of taking my time and unlocking things at a relaxed pace, but I didn't want to spend weeks of pulling out my ladder and vaulting pole all over again, so I came up with a way of making money fast. TREES! Trees are by far the best way to gain bells quick. Just avoid planting your native fruits as they yield less value at your store. I just gathered every other fruit I had and planted it on every inch of my island. Then after a few days, I was just raking in the bells. Or I guess you could say, shaking in the bells. In one full harvest, I gained hundreds of thousands of bells. Granted, this will make your island quite hideous and hard to get around. No one will really enjoy hanging out with you in a field of trees. But for me, I only really needed it for a few harvests just so I can speed through the rebuilding process. If you don't want to go through extremes, then I found fishing to be the second best way to gain bells. One load can get you 30k or more if you're lucky, and I find it quite relaxing. Other ways are playing the turnip stock market, buying turnips from that snot lady on Sundays, and hoping you can sell them for more later on in the week. If you play with friends, you can also check the value of turnips on their island. They might have better prices than you. The other standard ways, of course, of making money is to make sure you get your money rock every day, planting money trees. Also, eventually when you have all the fossils, you can sell them for a decent chunk of change. There you have it. Lovely, luscious trees. That is by far the best way i found to earn tons of bells. Although, if you have any better ideas, I'd love to hear it. Preferably one that doesn't make your entire town a complete maze. Please let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you like this video, please tickle that subscribe button. Please, the, what's that other thing called? Oh yeah, the notification bell. That one helps too. My adventure on YouTube has just begun and I would love for you all to join my party. So until next time, keep on questing.